Governor Greg Abbott in the spotlight this day after getting a special award, the Side Selection Magazine's Governor's Cup Award. Yes, this is a record-breaking eighth year in a row that Texas has received this coveted award. It highlights top performing states for job creation and capital investment. Governor, thank you for joining us right now from our, station, our uh, state capital. What does this award mean to you? Well, first of all, here is the award. We're so <laughs> proud of it. It's amazing to receive it once. It's even more amazing that we have received it eight years in a row. And more than what it means to me is what it means to our fellow Texans. What it means to our fellow Texans is jobs. It means economic opportunity. It means economic growth. We get this award because Texas is ranked number one in the country for economic development. That's a lot of new economic projects here. Texas is the number one state for all these businesses to relocate to. And as a result, our state is prospering. And most importantly, our people are prospering. And that's a great segue into this next question with Super Tuesday being tomorrow in Texas with different types of voting machines, different parts of the state. Uh, is Texas ready to go to the polls? And what do you expect tomorrow, Governor? Now, t Texans are ready and they've already shown it because we've had very robust voting turnout already and I hope that will continue tomorrow. Uh, Texans are eager to go out and cast their vote and, and make sure they are electing uh, the right person for the right job and uh, the most important thing is we get to see what democracy really looks like. Uh, my hope is that all of the elections will go off without a hitch whatsoever uh, and that we'll enjoy watching the election returns tomorrow night. Now Governor, you know this question was going to be coming here, coronavirus concerns, but as of now, don't we need to take a breath and step back just a little bit because we know that across our state and the country flu is a bigger killer but right now what is your feeling about that about the flu or about the coronavirus coronavirus what we should do well, listen, we are being very aggressive at the state and local level with regard to the coronavirus because uh, even though the common flu is more deadly in Texas right now, uh, we want to do our part to make sure that the coronavirus uh, does not turn into an outbreak here. As a result, uh, the leaders of the Texas Health Department, uh, doctors there, uh, working in conjunction with uh, the Texas Division of Emergency Management, are working with local health officials in Smith County, in Tyler, Texas, in every county and city across the entire state of Texas to make sure we have best practices in the way that we deal uh, with the coronavirus. Uh, we want to try to prevent it, and if it, if it exists here in Texas, we want to work to contain it so that there is not a massive outbreak. All right, Governor, thank you very much for joining us this evening. My pleasure. Thank you.